Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify uh, using our properties of exponents. So basically what I'm going to uh, do in this case is before I even get with my negative exponents, before I even worry about that, um, what I'm going to use is I notice that I have a, a whole bunch of terms here um, that are separated by the product, right, by multiplication. So therefore, I can apply the power to product rule for each one of these, meaning I can distribute this across multiplication. So therefore, I have 4 to the negative fifth times x to the negative second raised to the negative fifth and y to the fourth raised to the negative fifth. Right? So I distributed the negative fifth to each and every one of those powers. Now, I do not remember 4 to the fifth power off the top of my head, so I am going to have to do that. Raised to the fifth, that's 1,024. Okay, I should remember that. Um, so now, let's go ahead and distribute this. So before I, even get to, before I even get to this, let me, I'll explain that one in the next one. So I have 4 to the negative fifth. Here I have x, negative 2 times negative 5 is now going to become x to the 10th times y to the negative 20th. Now I can't, I can't simplify those any further. Um, but the next thing we want to look at now is um, how am I going to rewrite these with positive exponents? And remember, if I have x to the negative m, and I want to rewrite this as a positive exponent, I can do that by rewriting it under, under, my, uh, under 1 and rewriting it in the denominator. So therefore, to rewrite this with positive exponents, the x to the 10 is positive, so that can remain in the numerator. However, these, to rewrite them as positive, I now need to rewrite them in the denominator. So that's 4 to the 5th and y to the 20th. Now I can simplify 4 to the 5th as 1,024. As long as it's in the denominator, you're going to have it uh, be positive. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify using your rules of exponent. Thanks.